Good afternoon, everybody. Today is October 19th. This is going to be the first of a new series of videos that I'm going to be doing, and this is the Systems Accelerator Manager update. So as we go through updates, I realized that I was going to have to uh, just constantly be creating uh, new tutorials, or I could create updates for you guys. Uh, now, this uh, idea comes from my good friend, Charles Hoskins. Um, and uh, so, Charles, for some reason, you find this video. Uh, thanks for the idea. But uh, we are going to be looking at several of the infrastructure updates that I have done over the last week uh, inside the Systems Accelerator Manager. I'm going to try to do it really quick. Uh, so the very first thing that I am super excited to showcase to you guys is the dashboards. Now, if you are currently a Systems Accelerator Manager user, you might have noticed this because it is the front page. But the dashboards are going to be one of the really um, incredible pieces inside of SAM to help you uh, stay informed about how you are doing in your system. So I want to go through each of the little um, data pieces on the dashboard. I'm going to show you some cool things that you can find inside of them. We're going to move on. But uh, the very top, I have dubbed this the core score, the conversions, operations, retentions, and experiences. Now, these are the areas that you can generate things in. And what you're able to notice off of my dashboard is I have really been focusing on my conversions or my lead generation uh, creation. So I have created 40 different things inside of the conversions now, my experiences only have four, so I need to really focus in on my experiences um, to ensure that I kind of keep those numbers um, a little bit more balanced. The goal would be um, if I have a total of uh, 67 generations uh, to probably have that split uh, 20 across the board, um, you know, 22, I, I would say uh, 2468, something like that. Yeah, 22, uh, pretty close to. Um, and so currently they're is a big hole for me to fill. I have um, a lot of successes in lead generation, but I have a big hole uh, in my experiences. So that's kind of how uh, you can read these. Now, the really cool thing, let's say I am interested in what have I created within the conversions? Well, I can click on that conversions and any of those uh, conversion specific uh, generations that I've saved when I uh, was in them, I can now click and I am in my saved templates area. And uh, I can have a filtered list of all these generations. Now, from the save generations area, you could filter um, by any of those different areas as well. But that is something that you can do now. Uh, you can quickly click in um, to those filtered lists so you can see them just from the dashboard uh, that works for uh, conversions, operations, retentions, experiences. Uh, right under that, it's going to show you the complete or the total number of generations that you have um, within your systems accelerator manager account um after that we have quests that are available currently uh you have nine quests available those are all the quests that are available uh for all of our subscription accounts now if you are a trialing uh user you are only going to have access to the getting started quest but this is going to be a really great place for you to start um, again i clicked into the quests and it took me to the quest area um, and uh, we have lots of videos on the quests area the green check mark means it's something that i've done i can generate through by clicking on the right hand i'm going to go ahead and hit back it's going to take me back to the dashboard so i'm pretty uh, excited for that and then uh within that uh any element that I've generated, uh, so all those green check marked elements, uh, it's going to showcase uh, the quest elements um, right here. So again, this is a saved uh, templates or saved generations area, and it is filtered by all of the quests, just taking me to that filtered list. And as a little side note, if you have not noticed, I added a little icon on any of those saved templates uh, that have to do with quests so that you know at a glance uh, when you're in an unfiltered list. Uh, so if I were to do this, you can kind of sort through and see all of those different pieces. So little quality of life updates right there. Now, uh, the next things that I have, I'm just super excited about because this, in my mind, is how we start to prove 
uh, to you that you are actually making a lot of progress when you are utilizing the Systems Accelerator Manager. So the very first thing that I have is a words generated inside of the system. So currently we've generated 67 pieces of content and over those 67 pieces, we've generated uh, 294,129 words, which is a crazy number of words, right? Over that time, we have been working to generate pieces uh, inside the system for two hours, 19 minutes, and 44 seconds. So the actual process of generating that, uh, we've taken this much time. Now, these last two are my favorite, and I want to show you guys something really cool you can do with it. So uh, very first, the work time saved. Now, what we do is we took a eight-hour workday. That's generally speaking what most people have, an eight-hour workday. I would wager you maybe have a little bit more on some days, a little bit less on others, but eight hours. And um, we learned that uh, when uh, people are writing, typically people write with 40 words per minute if they are just typing away. Now, if you ask someone to think about something as they're typing it and to create it, it actually shoots all the way down to about eight words per minute, which is crazy. And so that is how I built uh, the um, kind of factor uh, that it is accounting for. So if you're like, oh, man, how is it that uh, we were able to generate uh, 294,000 words and uh, we've saved three months, three weeks? Well, you take that word number and you think about how many words per minute and then you add that words per minute and you uh, come up with hours saved, it's uh, 610 hours, 26 minutes, 23 seconds, which is actually three months, three weeks, one day, two hours, and an eight hour workday, right? So that's exactly how that goes. And it is factoring eight, eight hour workdays, five days a week. Um, so if, if you need a little bit of detail. Now, if for some reason you go, you know what, Cody? I think that I can type much, much faster uh, than that. This is so inaccurate. What you can do is you can click on this. And we have what is called a content creation challenge. And uh, what I have built is uh, you are going to have three minutes and I'm going to give you a topic. Uh, highlight the advantages and disadvantages of living in an urban versus suburban area. Now, I have three minutes to talk about this topic, right? If you're like... I, there's, there's no way I could talk about that topic. Don't worry. I got you covered. You just get a different topic, hit the little, uh, regenerate button. Uh, so the detail, um, the impacts of home inspection and what buying should look, what buyers should look for. I bet you, you can talk about that one. So now what we do is we hit start and we can start typing, uh, when you are looking at a home inspection process, you should start looking for these details. Okay. And didn't take three minutes, but Sam was able to get the information it needed. Now, what it did was it took all of my words, spelled correctly or otherwise, and it told me you typed uh, 16 words at a 64 word per minute speed. Hey, I'm much faster than the average person. That's awesome. Words generated by Sam in that same time were 458 words to my 16, and Sam's speed was 1,832 words per minute. That means words per minute saved just by using Sam would have been 1,768. But it took that factor of eight or uh, typing speed of eight, and it actually updated it to 13. That is my personalized factor. Now, if you were curious, Sam was racing against me. It is a race. And this is where you get the opportunity to kind of see truly how fast it is. Now, I know that I have a speed test against uh, ChatGPT and Sam, but this is the ultimate speed test right here. And it's done inside Sam. And while I'm doing it, it's going to help more custom uh, eyes, my ability to see this data um, realize. So I can scroll through here and I can look at what Sam would have written had I asked it to generate something like that. Now, from there, I go ahead and hit close. And you'll notice that it shifted uh, from three months and a couple weeks to two months. That is because it moved from a, a factor of eight words per minute to 13 words per minute. 
and here we are. So that is the dashboards thus far. And I'm really excited because I think that when we give you guys the ability to observe these things, a little bit of context to this, my first software product uh, was a series of real estate dashboards. And I had about 50 dashboards. They pulled data from a CRM that is just sitting in your CRM most of the time and never used. And it gave agents real-time insights. And what this does is very similar. I'm giving you guys real-time insights about how the things you are doing inside of the system are moving the needle into your business. So I'm really excited for this. I think that this is a really big piece uh, for you guys, and I'm really excited for you to get to play with it. Now, the next thing that I do, I could go through the generation process. I'm actually just going to go to the saved, and I'm going to load uh, the very top one because we don't really need uh, to go through the generation process to show you this next thing. Now, currently, or previously, rather, uh, now currently, right? Previously, when you were working inside of SAM, you could copy uh, either the HTML source code or the text body. Um, you could save it to the template section, which is what I did here. Um, you could expand it uh, versus uh, selected content or all content. You could uh, tell it how you would like to refine it, or you could just regenerate uh, what it had created, right? But now I have a new button for you guys, and that is the edit button. So if uh, you've ever tried to click in here, you realize this was not a responsive text field. Now, I did that on purpose because I just wanted to display it, but I did get a little bit of user feedback that you guys would love the ability to edit inside of Sam so that you can save it and house it all in one place, especially because I started talking about how the saved templates, save generations area is being trained uh, with Sam so that it has better context of you. I thought, you know what, that's a really valid point. Um, so I built an edit button. So when you click the edit button, it's going to pop up an editor. This is pretty familiar to most uh, text editors out there. You have the ability to adjust fonts and uh, text size, all of this. It is saving as it goes. So <laughs> you'll see that little check mark going, but then I can actually click in here and I can start to uh, edit the content and the copy within this generated piece right here. Boom. Now, once I'm done with that, I just hit okay. And I would wanna save this. Uh, if I, for some reason, decided to go back, it's gonna say, hey, whoa, you just did all this work and you didn't save any of it. Go ahead and save it. And you, oh, okay, that's a good point. Um, and uh, if I didn't want to save it, moves me back. If I did want to save it, I would hit cancel, uh, go ahead and save it, and then we're good to go. But uh, these two new features are now live and available to you guys, the Systems Accelerator Manager subscribers. And I am so excited for you to get in here and uh, really dive into these. Now, if for some reason you find that you are not a Systems Accelerator Manager subscriber and I have piqued your interest uh, with this very first update, what you can do is you can follow the link below. We have 14-day free trials. You can get in here. Uh, you can do that uh, getting started quest. Uh, you can get in here. You can see the dashboards. You can see how uh, much work time you could save with your custom factor, how fast uh, you are against Sam, and you can dive into it. Um, but um, the trial is completely free. And like I said, link is down below. Go ahead and click in, uh, claim your subscription trial or <laughs> claim your trial, your 14 day free trial. And uh, if you are interested after the 14 days, subscribe. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this has uh, been a really exciting video for all of my subscribers out there. As uh, I always like to say, thank you so much for your support. Um, we couldn't do this without you, but uh, I'm excited for you guys to get in here and I will talk to you very soon.